Good evening and welcome back to the KOWM Gutterman Three Wall Ball World Championships. We're here in Las Vegas, Nevada in the parking lot of the Stratosphere Hotel. Right now we've got a professional paddle ball exhibition for you. We have our division winners, Sebastian Fernandez and Jeremy McLaughlin in front, playing against Conrado Moscoso and Emmett Coe. Our referee for this evening is George Barrera. We do have line judges. To their role will just be to call out on the lines. Good ball. Good ball. Our announcers this evening will be Aaron Embry and Good Charlie ball. Brumfield. I will turn it over to them now. Are you going to be on with us? Yeah. Hello everyone, we're here at Three Wall Ball in Vegas with another fantastic event. We have an amazing paddle ball exhibition match here for tonight. We have uh, Sebastian Fernandez who's serving and his partner tonight will be Jeremy McLaughlin and receiving serve right now on the left side with the blue shirt is Conrado Moscoso and probably the best paddle ball player in the country, his partner Emmett Coe. And we have a special guest with us tonight, um, the legendary Charlie Brumfield, who is commonly known as the holder of all titles, is here tonight. He has won Paddleball Nationals, Racquetball Nationals, and that's why he is the holder of all titles. Charlie, what do you think about uh, tonight? Well, there's more talent on the field than usual. Uh, Emmett Coe is the best player in the country now, but these guys took him out earlier today at another paddleball event. So it's a, I, don't, I wouldn't call it a changing of the guard by any imagination, but uh, it was quite a great match by these guys to take him down, especially Jeremy, who normally is a little bit sluggish on his coverage, but he apparently was able to get around that this morning. Yeah, he, Jeremy moved really well, um, and he didn't hit many of those shots where he just plumbed up the ball. In the f and Sebastian was moving very well. And there was a little miscommunication there, Charlie. Um, I, would you be yelling at your partner at this point when that would happen? Not yet. It's, <laughs> it's still early. <laughs> it's still early in the match. You want them to miss their first <laughs> shot, not their coverage, uh, before you start yelling. So the reason why we're having a exhibition match tonight instead of the Pro Paddle Ball Finals is Alvaro Beltran was unfortunately injured in an earlier match playing uh, with Daniel De La Rosa uh, in the semifinals of the Pro Racquetball Division. And it was a gnarly injury too. Uh, uh, Beltran's is one of the greatest players in the history of both sports. He's been playing paddle ball and racquetball for probably 30 years and is a brilliant stroke master. Yeah, I think Alvaro is one of the fastest adapters I've seen to uh, outdoor racquetball and paddleball and indoor. It's just uh, oh, a little gimpy on that one. And uh, tonight we have George Barrera on the head uh, referee. And Sebastian Fernandez is gonna be serving again. And then Conrado just hit the ball. 
Comparing the game of shot selection, and it requires a little bit more endurance uh, in the longer rallies. I would agree with that. You have to really pick your shot, Charlie, which is kind of the fun part from all of us. We've all played a lot of racquetball, but it's a nice change of pace to think the play through a little bit more than just react. And you notice here they're really hitting the ball high right now to try to get into position to hit something. Now we'll see it come down. Oh, Conrado. Nice shot. That was a great coverage. Great shot by Sebastian. I think you're going to have to sub in for Sebastian soon, the way he's uh, gimping around out there. And a great get by Emmett Coe. Emmett is generally known as the fastest player, really, in the history of the game. He is extraordinarily maneuverable and agile, as he exhibited there. Yeah, he, he moves really well low. I, he just gets down on low to the ground and scoots after it. It's 2.11 right now. So we would call this the mini beatdown at this point. Well, I'm expecting them to shoot a little bit earlier than normal in an exhibition as opposed to an actual match. That is correct. Uh, but great players don't like to lose. I don't care whether it's exhibition or warming up. Yes, sir. I like how Sebastian just kind of came over and gave uh, Jeremy the uh, benching on that last play over there. Jeremy likes to run the match yeah, from the deep court if yes. possible. <laughs> and maybe even with the beer in his hand. Oh, nice what a fake. Nice ball. shot. Sebastian has really improved from last year. He made it to the finals and lost with Emmett uh, oh, against cool. Alvaro and Daniel De La Rosa. But he's, that shot right there, he didn't have last year. He didn't have that high lob like that right there. Another great shot by Sebastian. They need to decide, uh, Emmett's team needs to decide who's going to go back for those. But you can't give Sebastian that easy a shot to hit out. No, not at all. And a great cover. And right there you kind of see the uh, athleticism of uh, the players there. Great gets, scurrying around. And that one's somewhere out on the Las Vegas Strip, I would say, Charlie. Exactly. That, that's still moving somewhere out on the, the Strip. That doesn't happen in four wall. <laughs> no. I think that's one of the fun parts about playing out here in Vegas. It's such a different game and really would encourage people to come out and try it. Mike Coulter just puts on an amazing show out here, and it's a lot of work, but... It is one of the most fun tournaments we have during the whole year. Well, he's in his second decade, and the guy is known as one of the very, very best promoters, and, yeah, yeah. and he runs a great tournament that's on time, and yeah, yeah. everybody loves it. Yeah, it, no doubt. It is a fun, fun experience because you get to see racquetball, paddleball, handball, and this year we did Squash 57. It was really a joy to watch the athletes compete in different categories. And what a great shot there. That rolled. Six, Not bad for a racquetball player. Well, I should I spoke too soon. 7-12. Seven, seven, 12. Seven, 12. There's a mini comeback coming in. And then the ultimate sin, Charlie, of hitting it, 12, the serve out and losing it. Playing. Outdoor, the biggest single difference is you have to keep the ball in the court, and uh, that includes the serve and any time you try to drive the ball. And that's why you're seeing balls up the middle there. That was a great get. It's a great rally. And a between the leg. And this is why they play paddle ball right here. Great rally. Just great cover. Oh my gosh, that was an amazing get. Sorry, that was just amazing. 
just, oh my goodness gracious, that's amazing, Charlie. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> what a rally! That was just amazing. That was fun to watch, wasn't it? It was. It's now 8-12. And Jeremy hits the toe ball in. That's the ball you can't miss, Charlie. I, I got to think that that is the ball you just got to take care of. You got to be careful on it. Even though you have more time, you got to use it. And he didn't use it that time, and the ball got interior to where he was comfortable, near that tummy. Exactly, exactly. Now, you yell at your partner for that, missing that one. On that one, yes. Okay, okay, good. Now, we have a, a quick timeout here on the court. Uh, we'd like to thank KMW, Love Racquetball, War, Procanix. We'd like to thank KMW Getterman, Three Wall Ball, Ace Solutions, LPL Financial. <laughs> and here we're back in. Emmett Co. is serving. It's 12-8. Emmett went for the reverse there, Charlie, and came up a little short. Interesting. There's ser double serving to Jeremy. Good eye by Moscoso to let that one go. That Boy, one went out. That was close. Yeah, a little. It's good eye. He's been playing some good outdoor. He knows what's in and what's out pretty close. Oh, and he just paid him back. Just paid back the favor of hitting the ball out. It's 8-13 with Sebastian Fernandez serving. Nice cover by Moscoso. Really good cover. Great scurry in. Just how you want to do it. He closed really well. Especially for a tall man. Yeah, he was down low, scooted in, lots of little mini steps in there. And oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we have a paddle ball match going on right here. The sky hook. <laughs> yeah, I love it. And another great deep ball. I think Emmett might have lost that in the shadow in there. He was looking for the pinch. 13-8. It looked like Jeremy was a little tight on that ball, uh, Charlie. Jeremy McLaughlin just tried to force it a little too much. You know, he's one of the hardest hitters I've ever played with. Uh, the pace isn't as important uh, out here as the accuracy is. Whoa! Oh my God! That thing almost <laughs> went in from 40. That was a great, great hit. We'll take a quick break and be back in about a minute. I think we're going to have a. Uh
welcome back to Three Wall Ball in Las Vegas. We're right outside the uh, Strat the, on the Strip. And we're just starting game number two. It's going to be two games to 15, tiebreaker to 11 if needed. Right out. And that was a great shot by Emmett Coe into the right side corner. Score is 0-0. Zero, zero. And uh, Man, that thing zero, rolled. Zero. Uh, I think he skipped it in. It, yeah, I think we need to get your eyes checked, Charlie. I probably do. <laughs> but a great get. We have a great rally going on right here. And looks like Conrado just skipped it again. With that wife beater, I, I think in some language it says, love you, mom. <laughs> exactly. Point. That's point now. It's one zero. Nice hit by Conrado. Beautiful finish. One down. Jeremy McLaughlin is One, serving. Zero. One zero. It's a good match going here. And the referee called a skip on that. I wonder if they're going to appeal. Nope. And no. Nope. No one appealed that shot. I thought it might have skipped too, Charlie, actually. Great lob. God's will. That's right. Zero, two. Zero, two, Emmett Coe is in serving. It's a good lob shot by Jeremy. Two teams have very different shapes of their Zero, And Conrado's now serving. And if you notice, Charlie, we have different shapes of paddles here. We have uh, Emmett Coe and Conrado Moscoso have the oval-shaped paddle. And Jeremy and Sebastian have what we call the, the, the uh, teardrop, almost a quad teardrop shape. Which one do you like? Uh, I usually play with one that's sort of pointed at the top yeah, yeah. so that I don't have the wings of the paddle interrupting them from the sidewall contact. But out here, it's a whole different game. There's no sidewalls after you get past the first 15, 20 feet. So I think I'd go with the other. The uh, I think I'd go with this, the uh, Tear -tear. teardrop Tear -tear. method. Nice, nice. That's the one I personally like. And I, for me, it, I like that paddle because it reminds me, oh, what a great, oh, I thought he was going to get it. It reminds me of uh, my racquetball racket. So for me, it's easier to have a flat swing and, and swing away on it and let it rip. Well, we've got a match here going, Charlie. It looks well, like they're pretty accurate. And I'll tell you that they're playing harder than I was expecting. Oh, I know. Well, the, the winner take all prize money for the exhibition does kind of spice it up a little bit. It's 3-0. Still. There. Oh. You know, Jeremy and Sebastian are playing a really smart game right now, Charlie. I think they're they're not looking for too much until they get a setup and then they're attacking, which is what you should do this game. Yeah, they're winning what we call the ground game. Point. And what a, what a, you know, that's that's the one thing that um, I think racquetball players could really benefit from playing paddleball is what we just saw in that last rally where you get in and you get close to the wall and you, what we would call rumble or bum fight on that ball. Point. And just a great move by Sebastian reading Emmett's shot and uh, closing very quick on it. Check in. 
Well, pretty good shot. Sebastian is covering that deep ball really well. He is, considering he, I, I talked to him uh, in between games and he looks like he's got a bruise on his foot that he's nursing, but he says it doesn't really bother him too much, but he's moving pretty good right now. Yep. And another great shot by Sebastian. It's 7-0. I think uh oh. he ripped a spectator. <laughs> well, you know, it was Where's an attorney when you need one? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Charlie, it was either that or hold up. <laughs> right. You know, we're just keeping the spectators involved in the game tonight. That's all. Oh, what a great oh. shot. Great lob. These courts are so vicious when you hit a good lob. Zero seven. You are running 50 feet out the back door. It is really a little miscommunication there. Point. Nice finish by Emmett. Yeah, Emmett did a nice little cover in that and then redirected it nice. Let's see if these guys Point. can get some points here. I thought Camarado should have taken that on his forehand side. Just a little stronger shot. Should have bounced back on that ball. Yeah, he's leaving uh, Emmett in some poor positions there. He's got to get a little fired up. Exactly. That was a good shot right yep. at Sebastian's feet. I think that's one of the hardest shots to hit is when somebody rips the ball right at your feet and you've got to. Now that was a good choice there because he didn't have any way of getting that ball out from where he was hitting it, but he just killed it. Yeah. Point. Are you uh, sniffing a tiebreaker here, Charlie? I think it is going to go three. Jeremy McLaughlin is serving it up. Point. Well, beautiful that, shot. That's hard to argue with right there. No, just a beautiful shot. If he would have just said no. in your face or something like that, like you would have done, Charlie, then that would have been even better. I think they better uh, keep it away from him. He's hitting a few too many consecutive winners. And this is a smart timeout between uh, Co and Moscoso. Emma's going to have to switch to the left. Yeah, I think so. He's a little... Just a little more experienced, I think, on that side. And I know Emmett loves to play right side ball, but timeout. We're off. We'll see what happens. Okay, we're off, Charlie. Let me know if you want to do some sponsor stuff and I'll... I'm Carla Munoz, and I play with passion. I play to be a role model for the kids. I play for the adrenaline. I play for the love of the game. Okay, we're back here at three wall ball. It looks like seven serves one. That was Charlie putting on his headset. He is rummaging and eating random food things that are on the counter here because he has to keep carbo loaded. Nice hit by Emmett. Uh, they have switched sides, like you uh, suggested, Charlie. You still got your touch, I'd say. Oh. Sebastian with the bum foot still covers. Ball on the court, that will be a replay. Again, we are playing an exhibition match. It scores, uh, game scores will be uh, played to 15, 15 and a tiebreaker to 11. And it's a little harder to hit into Emmett's corner. Yes. So we'll see. That one just got a little away from me. 
I think the hardest part when you come back from playing racquetball to paddle ball is you hit the ball off the top of the paddle like that and you hit the shank or potamus. And uh, it doesn't seem like it's quite possible, but it, it happens. Great cover. He looks more comfortable over there, he, even though he's only been there one rally. Well, he, he really moved in easily there. Yeah, he didn't get tied up. I'm surprised Emma didn't hit that one. That was his strong side forehand. That was he just said that was me. Nice hit into Jeremy's backhand. Nice deep ball. That was a good rally. That was a good rally. It's a little tough for Jeremy to cover that left corner. It's 212. Nice shot. That was a nice shot. And and the, one of the difference between uh, racquetball and paddle ball is that on a shot like that, you don't look like Emmett got tied up a little bit behind Sebastian. You just yep. uh, you don't stop on that. You just no. you just kind of brush Four, aside 12. and keep playing. Nope, it's the men's game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hear you. Hey, he's getting a little bit uh, iffy here. I'm gonna hit the microphone on the court. We're gonna have a quick replay. Great cover. Both guys actually got to that ball. And that resulted in neither of them getting to it. Exactly. It's 6-12. I'm not, well, I was gonna say, I wasn't gonna say they're blood in the water, but now I'm gonna say it's not looking pretty. So it's now 7-12, Charlie. Anybody's ball game. I'm going to say, I was going to say inside the game donut, but I don't know. It's an early prediction for that, but I don't want to um, do that. And we have Joel Arredondo over here coming in to get some pictures of his uh, guy, Conrado and Emmett. That was point, eight, seven, twelve. I think Conrado's got a great forehand pinch in that corner. He's he does. He hits it down and just the, the ball stays down. And it, we have a timeout. We'd like to thank KWM Gutterman, AGE Solutions, Ahern Rentals, and LPL Financial for making this happen today. And also a big thank you to Mike Coulter and Three Ball Ball for putting in the effort to have this happen. It has been a treat and a joy to be here. And even, I want the audience to know that I drove Charlie out here today, or the other day from San Diego, and I was blessed with hearing paddleball and racquetball theory for five hours, and I didn't know that was quite possible, but uh, I got litigated into submission that day. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we're looking like we're going to get going here. It's nine serves 12, second server. Well, that was just a great out the door shot, Charlie. Nice shot by Jeremy. It's perfect. It was perfect. What a great run. Another good shot by Sebastian. Well, I had three in a row. That was 30, beautiful. 30 yeah. Nine. I don't even know how Emmett hit that ball. I'm not sure if he used his handle, he hit it, he his hit hand, his or, or or the paddle face. But you know, 
Whatever it takes, that's what I say, Charlie. Nice get. Good. And Jeremy skipped a setup now. For sure, you would have a talk to him. Wow. I mean, he's just pretty consistent on that pinch over there. That's, that right side wall corner shot is just amazing. And Sebastian's starting to leave up a few balls. He was the guy that was on cleanup detail, but 11-13. Um, 11, 13. And Six. now they are not looking good, Charlie. 12, serving 13. Half out. If it went too early. Yeah, that was one, Twelve, maybe two shots too 13. early. We have the ball on the court. We're going to do a quick replay on that. We'd like to thank George Barrera for uh, being the head oh, linesman, the referee. Line out. Good ball. Good shot. That was just. That didn't hit the line? It is, but the line is good, Charlie. Good Lines are good. Well. Except for the short line. I, I, I hate to disagree with you on uh, a call like that, Charlie. God is looking. <laughs> so we have one down. Jeremy's now serving. Now look at Conrado. He finally came up and joined the party in the middle there and just killed the ball. Really nice play. It's about 50-50 right now on this game. Well, it's 12-13, I think. It hit the mic again. They're going to do a replay. 12-13. And Jeremy kind of hits a freak ball in. but That was a good shot. 12-13. Well, you know, you pay for the whole paddle. You should usually use it like that. It died up there. The, the crotch. <laughs> I think 13, Jeremy should have uh, followed that in for sure. That's uh -oh. out. It is now uh-oh moment for them. And Sebastian walked over and explained to Jeremy that there is a front court. <laughs> That's right. And a front wall. And we have a good rally going. Nice hit by Jeremy. Oh, oh, what a gosh. rally! What a what great, a shot! What a great way to end it. So we have Emmett Co and Conrado Moscoso winning the paddleball exhibition match. We'd like to thank KWM Gutterman, AGE Solutions, Ahern Rentals, LPL Financial, and Ron from the IRT and the W. Um, excuse me, IRT and three wall ball and of course my great